Hey guys, and welcome back to ARK. I, uh... Thought I heard something. <laughs> uh, I'm back from the last episode. And we're almost done cooking our meat. One thing I want to mention, because I forgot to mention this in the last episode, is these episodes aren't going to be like a, a daily thing where I try and stay up to date with you guys or anything like that. It's gonna be, I'm gonna play as long as I want throughout the day and I'm just gonna record it all and release it because uh, they're gonna update this game every single day or two days I think it is but it's not like Trove where it's like content every week and uh, I don't really want to get out of date with you guys uh, video wise or anything like that so just keep that in mind that these videos might not be day to day uh, that day is the day that I record so just wanted to mention that I know some people care about that and we're just waiting for that last meet to get done then we're gonna demolish our fireplace and it'll give you half of your materials back Oh, oh well, we're just gonna take all that. And then when you demolish it, it gives you half of what it costs. So it's not completely portable, but it is a uh, halfway portable fireplace. <laughs> so we're gonna go and find some dinosaurs to hunt down. I know there's a couple across there, but I want to kind of stay on this side. Oh, there's one. Let's get it. If it's not too high of a level. It's level 9. That should be fine. Oh god, this one spits. Oh, the lag is... It still lags. It's kind of bad. But it's not as bad. Is he dead? Yep. Alright, we leveled up. I think that's a uh, slingshot time. We'll go food to 150, and then water to 150, and then stamina to 150. Uh, no, it's not slingshot time. We need one more level. I think I'm gonna wait for the bed before I do a sleeping bag. So, what can I do? I think I'm gonna save actually. Because I don't really remember how much uh, Ingram points you need to do that. And something to know is when you're running, just spam your E button. Because there's rocks everywhere. And you'll pick them up. Alright, level 8. Should be good. Again, this is not me shaking my mouse. This is the head bobbing. Every time you attack something, your screen does that for some reason. Uh, we're gonna go for hide actually. Oh, just pooped again. Because uh, we're, we're up uh, next level, uh, we can make a saddle. So that's what we're gonna do. Get as much hide as we can. I think it's. 12 hide? Maybe 10? I'm not sure. But after we kill this one, we should be at level 5. These guys are easy to kill, you just need to sidestep them. Alright, let's get some more hide. We have plenty of meat anyways. Meat takes... When you cook meat, it takes a very long time to spoil. I think it's 20 minutes. So, and I don't know if things spoil while you're logged off, because I know your body sits there and your inventory sits there, or people can just come up and loot you. Oh. Man, I can't talk. <laughs> they can come up and loot you. So that's something I'll have to see, because if that happens, then like, basically everything that you gather is going to be gone by the time you wake up. So, I hope that's not the case. 
What was I? Oh yeah, I leveled up. Let's continue with our food. And okay, slingshot. And saddle. That gives us five points. I don't know what notes do. Write your own text in a note. Uh, I guess that's kind of like books and daisy, so. Okay, so to make a bed, we need this. All right. I want to make sure I get the bed learned pretty quickly because that's how you save your spawn point in case you make a house or something. So let's eat a little bit. I'm getting pretty low. All right. Can we make... We can make a sleeping bag. I don't know if you need to make one or not to make a bed. Okay, so we need wood for a saddle. And wood and fiber for a slingshot. So that's our goal right now. Should actually put away our hatchet so we can get fiber. We need to find a tree. Here's some trees. Alright, so we need wood and fiber. Okay, that should be enough wood. Now we just need fiber. There we go, there's some fiber. Do we have enough? Yeah. Alright. Craft this. And now we still need one more fiber. Alright, cool. I'm getting pretty heavy with our weight, too. How much does this weigh? I actually don't know. So what can we uh, toss away? Charcoal actually weighs a lot. I don't know what charcoal is used for. Everything in this game is has a purpose, even spoiled meat. This is to make narcotics and feces or poop or whatever you want to call it. That is used for fertilizer and for growing crops. So uh, make sure to keep everything you make. We have 58 stone. That could be. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, weight right there. Also, uh, something to know is I guess I might as well explain a little bit is the right side shows your bars. The top one is your experience. The one under that is your weight, the little iron t type thing. Uh, the water is your water. The leg underneath that is food. The lightning bolt underneath that is stamina and the health icon is health. And if you see above the level, it's a little bit above the level, it shows a hand, that means you're near something that you can pick up with your hand. You have to have your hand out. And then if you get close to something like this, you see it's tools. That means you need a tool to use it uh, to gather resources. If it's like this, a small tree, you can use your hand to get something from it. So that's why it's not crossed out when you have your hands out. But say you have a tool out and you're near something you have to pick up with your hands, it's going to cross it out. Same thing with stone. If you're near it, and you have your hands out, you can't punch stone and get anything from it. So it's going to cross it out until you have the appropriate tool out. So there's a little bit of, uh, I guess, tips or <laughs> just general knowledge that some people not might get, yeah, not might get when they first start out. So, uh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> wow. I couldn't, I couldn't stop. So, that's, this is what happens when you die. <laughs> you see your location on the map. Try to make note of it if you want to get back to your body. I'm a little bit under 70 and a little past 30. So, you, when you respawn, you're going to be someone completely random on the map. But you can still get back to your body. When you press M, you can see your location. I think I spawned nearby. Hmm. I don't know where I am. I can't really see. 
Is that an arrow? I think this is where I spawned the first time, actually. To be honest. Let's try and get back to my body before we end the episode. I think... And by the way, this is the game that does that. It's not, I'm not crashing or anything. For some reason, it completely freezes and locks up. Yeah, this is exactly where I spawned out first. So we're gonna go off and uh, find my body. Try and remember where I was. Uh, you can use K to look around. From right here, I don't seem that tiny, but I'm pretty tiny <laughs> compared to other people. Okay, I think we're getting near. This, I think... I mean, this all looks very, very familiar. I think this is exactly where I was explaining the bars. Or the things on the right. Yep, here we are. Alright, so we need to find a, an actual safe way down. <laughs> I think we fell off right there. So that's good, we spawned right next to our body. Oh, this freezing, I hope, doesn't cause me to fall off. I'm tired, so I have to sit still. Your stamina, re uh, yeah, it replenishes pretty quickly, so that's a good thing. You don't really need to put points into stamina if you don't want to. I hope I get to my body before I start dehydrating. Pretty sure I can fall from this distance. Your health regenerates over time, anyways. And this is very dark, even for me, so you guys probably see pitch black. <laughs> oh man. I can't see a thing. You guys have to tell me where my body is. Now is not the time to defecate. Just gotta dehydrate yourself even more. Where did I fall? I know I fell where it was pitch black for me. What was that? No, that's a bush. I need to get to some water. If you dehydrate long enough, you're gonna pass out. And you also take damage, so... Gotta try and get to some water real quick. And another cliff. <laughs> I think I'm dehydrating. I think all my stuff is gone. To be honest. I'm going to gain some stamina. I think you gain stamina slower when you're dehydrated. We're just going to get to water before I pass out. And then I'll just try and find my body on my own. And then we'll start back up or, uh, when I have everything again. A good thing, though, when you die is you keep all your engrams. So you don't have to level up again. But you do lose... All your materials that you had. And anything you made. Like, as you can see, I don't even have my, uh... Skins anymore for... Pre-ordering the game. Alright, so, uh... That's gonna be it for this episode. I'm going to go and find my body. And then I'll start up the next video. Once I do that, I'm not gonna waste time finding it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Even though I said I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm just used to it now. But, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.